Let's take a look at the latest news in the world now. In the U.S., a federal appeals panel unanimously ruled that former President Donald Trump does not have presidential immunity in his 2020 election interference case. The appeals court's decision rejects the former president's claims that he is immune from the related criminal charges and leaves Trump open to prosecution. Trump has been charged with conspiracy to overturn President Joe Biden's victory in the 2020 election and with committing fraud in an attempt to remain in office. In January 2021, a mob of Trump supporters stormed the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C. in an effort to overturn his election defeat. The case's trial was initially scheduled for March 4th, but has been postponed until Trump's immunity claim plays out. In the UK, King Charles was seen in public for the first time on Tuesday since it was made public that he was suffering from cancer. Charles was seen waving and smiling to passers-by in a car with Queen Camilla while on a short drive from his home, Clarence House in central London, to Buckingham Palace on Tuesday afternoon. It is believed that Charles and Camilla left on board the Royal Household helicopter later that day, departing for Sandringham Estate. Buckingham Palace announced on Monday that the 75-year-old king had been diagnosed with a form of cancer during his recent treatment of a benign enlarged prostate. In Hong Kong, the chief executive of the region, John Lee, has publicly complained about football superstar Lionel Messi's failure to play in a match between Inter Miami and a local team. Speaking Tuesday, Lee demanded that organizers explain why Messi could not play, saying the Hong Kong government was disappointed that a detailed explanation was not provided promptly. The game's organizer, Tatler Asia CEO, Michel Lamounier, apologized at press conference on Monday, saying that star players will play if they are fit. Fans were left disappointed at the sold-out Hong Kong stadium on Sunday, as star player Messi sat on the bench as Inter Miami beat a Hong Kong 11-4-1. Inter Miami was booed off the field by some 38,000 spectators, with fans later demanding refunds. To Japan now, where this year's Miss Japan beauty pageant winner renounced her title after the magazine revealed she had an affair with a married man. Ukraine-born Karolina Shino, who was crowned Miss Japan in January, renounced her crown and resigned from her modeling agency after the weekly Bunshin magazine reported her relationship with a married doctor. Initially, Shino claimed that she did not know he was married, but later she said she was aware of her partner's status and that he had a family. Shino has apologized on social media, as well as to the man's partner and his family. Miss Japan organizers said on Tuesday that following Shino's renunciation, the 2024 winner spot will remain empty. Kim Ji-young, Arirang News.